Hello. I'm back. I had one piece of toast with a small egg on it this morning. And I was starving. Thought I wanted to have some um, oatmeal with y'all. So I get this cup up a little higher. I'm going to show you. There's raisins in it and some brown sugar. I had put a... Oh, my hair is a mess today. I had put a, um, a teaspoon of sugar, but then I went and put another teaspoon because it just didn't taste sweet enough. But I love oatmeal with raisins. It takes me back to my younger days. Mmm. See it or not. So I added more raisins and heated it up a little more. Mm. Oh, Excuse me, my nose is itching. Mm. It's kind of a it might rain day. Hey, bye. A little doggy. Oh, Manny. <laughs> he's got a little tiny tail. He just shakes it when he's happy. Mm -hmm. So, Friday video day for my sister. I want some more video. Dance with her a little bit. She seemed pretty happy. She was laughing when I left. Well, my sister. My uh, um, oldest daughter is doing a really good job helping take care of her. She takes care of my mom and my sister. She's doing a good job. I took care of my sister my whole life. And my mom. Until about. The end of last year. And now they live with my mom, I mean my daughter. Um, they got a nice place. Big house, pecan trees. Oh, beautiful. Real beautiful. Early retirement for me. Had a lot of different kinds of jobs. I don't know, if I'm still itching. Sunglasses. I look like Terminator. <laughs> I'll be back. Anyway, hmm, hmm, mm. where did I go? Mm. Watch it a cut cup, throw up now. Hmm. So I've had lots of different kinds of jobs. My first child was young. I, right after I had my, yeah, my first child was young. I had a lawn service that I started. I told my dad I wanted to start a lawn service doing lawns. And this kid was dragging by a three-wheel mower, which means one of the wheels was broken. My dad gave him 15 bucks for it and said, hey, here's your lawnmower. Just sorry. So I got started. Hmm. My hair or something. So anyways, took my mower, three wheel mower, built I loaded it in the back of my car, had a car then. Because I had a big trunk. And I got a rake. 
Some storage bags. Found me a couple lines to do. And from there, build up a big, uh, big business. About not uh, big for me. I have about thirty lawns, um, condominium, office building. I was doing lawns every day, every day. I eventually got a truck, pickup truck. I did a uh, office building for some lawyers. I re. I did also did landscaping with my business, so I uh, did an office building for some lawyers that were moving into actual funeral home, and uh, and I had $4,000 in that, so I ended up buying me a truck, pickup truck, my first truck for doing the lawn service, and uh, got me a weed eater, and then I built it up from there, kept on going. When I left South Florida, I sold it to a guy, and he ripped me off, so it happens. So it's in the past. You can't change the past if you could, it'd be a lot different. But, you know how it is, so. So anyway, I had a big lawn account. I had... I would get into a neighborhood where I just have one house, and then the next door neighbor would want me to cut theirs, and then people across the street, and then the people next to them, and then the people behind them. I had houses everywhere. I worked hard. Out in the sun, in Hollywood, Florida. It was not easy. I must have got a, I got a heat stroke. Oh my god. Gosh. Mm. I don't remember how many times, so many times, heat stroke sucks. But I got heat stroke. From the first time I had heat stroke, I learned my lesson. Take chips, some salt packets, and lots to drink. So, uh, a couple times I recovered without having to go to the hospital or anything. Uh, every time, actually, I never had to go to the hospital before I can remember. It's a long time ago. It sure makes you feel bad. It makes you feel like you're going to pass out. It makes you feel dizzy. It's horrible. Back then we had these drinks called Big Gulps. They sold at the stores. They were really good. It's the only thing that had me going, I think. Excuse me. So I would uh, get my Big Gulp and sometimes I passed by my mom's house on the way. Going to the lawn or whatever, stop in and do her lawn. I had a guy that worked with me, so it was a big help. And then it was Ronnie. I had a lot of people work with me my cousin, my dad, my brother, my friend Cookie, my cousin Jackie. All kinds of people. I think half my family worked with me on my lawn service, but we all made some money. We all had a good time. It was hard, not an easy job. I'm home dirty as heck, anyways. I would come by my mom's house sometimes and I would go in and I'd have to go to the bathroom so I'd sit my drink on the, the table, my big gulp, and then I'd run down the hallway and go to the bathroom. Well, my little sister, she was disabled, she had a wheelchair, she'd sneak out of her room, hurry down the, down the hallway into the, uh, into the, um, dining area on her, in her wheelchair and she'd grab my drink and she'd throw the top off into the floor and she'd take a big gulp and then she'd I'd head on back from the bedroom. So she always got my drink when I got to the house. I was like, well, you can have it. I don't care. If I would have thought or known I was going to be by there, I would have brought her one. And a lot of times I did bring her one. She really liked her big gulps in them days. And Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> so, that's a cool memory about my sister. Um, <sighs> my oatmeal was pretty good. Well, what's making the sound over really here? It must be the phone. But anyway. Yeah, I had a lawn service, um, uh, I did pony rides for kids when I was down south. Did, I had a pony ride business where you take your ponies out to festivals or events or birthday parties. Did a couple schools, take them out and let the kids ride. And I got paid for it, but it was really hard to do there because there's really no place to keep the ponies. And I had to rent a trailer at the time. I was young and trying to get started, so it didn't quite work out. 
but I did love it. And then ended up moving up here. We ended up moving um, uh, from Hollywood, Florida to McAlpin, Florida, which is a nice little town, which is not far from here, about 15 miles maybe, not even that far. Yeah, probably 15 miles. Uh, oh, excuse me. And uh, so I did that for a little while. What else did I have? Oh, I escorted oversized loads, mobile homes, oversized, over wide, over height, uh, boats, um, equipment, um, oh, all kinds of stuff, long beams, you ride behind them in a car or a truck, which I had a truck, pickup truck with flags and a light, and you make sure that nobody passes when there's danger in this area so that we can get around it with the mobile homes. The mobile homes are extremely wide, so they would take up more than the lane, plus some. So anytime there was anything on the side, I'd have to hold traffic. And I made really, really, really good money doing that. And if anybody wants to learn how to escort mobile homes and oversized loads, I can give you some information. I might try to get back into that. It's the only thing I think I can do. So I kind of hate to get back on the road again doing that kind of stuff. It's so scary, so dangerous. It's just it's a lot of hours away from the house. I got a farm. It's so hard to travel. You gotta have money to travel. It just sucks. So. But anyways, that would be good business. But I gotta finish getting my truck set up. I gotta have a CB in it. Gotta get my lights on it. Gotta get my flag poles and all that stuff. And a new sign made and all that. So, uh, I might get back into that. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna be able to do now. I have back pain and I just have a hard time sometimes even just sitting in one place for too long. I have to kind of keep moving or else it gets real painful. But anyways, I'm lighter now. It's an awesome day here. What else? Another business. Oh, face painting. I did face painting and body art, henna. Um, I worked with a really good friend of mine. Her name is Sharon. She's an awesome face painter, henna artist, and a good person. And she's really good. Hi, Sharon. If you ever see this, I'm sure you will. Um... And, uh, face painting. What else did I do? It seems like there's something else. But anyways, if I remember, I'll tell you. I'll let you know. But I'm just kind of having a figured I'd share some of my oatmeal with you. And it's gone, pretty much. So, I'm going to keep this one short. just want to say hey. Tell you a little about what I've done in my life. And what kind of job I've had. Actually, businesses. I like having businesses. I hate having a job. I hate working for somebody else. If you can have your own business, that's where it's at. Be your own boss. Be your own boss. That's what they say. So that's what I say, anyways. Um, done a lot of stuff. Done a lot of jobs. Worked with uh, asphalt. Worked running heavy equipment. Run a, a loader, rollers. We did subgrade to finish asphalt. Worked in the hot sun. Run what they call. Um, uh, dozer was on one of those, didn't run it, just drove it a little. Operated a little. They don't like to say drive. You don't drive equipment, you operate it. That's what they'd always tell me, but. So, done some heavy equipment work, mostly road work, and uh, it was not an easy job. I, I worked for other lawn services. That definitely was a hard job. Did residentials every day in the hot sun. Man, I was so sunburned, sunburned, and sunburned. Uh, my first job was at a pony ring. I would load kids on the, the ponies, take the money. There wasn't much then. It then there wasn't much then. So I was watching something. I'm hoping it's not anything weird. I guess. So anyways, um, I worked at a pony ring. We would ride the kids around in a circle. It was near a uh, drive-in theater, which was called the uh, Arrow Drive-In. Hollywood, Florida, and I also worked at a place called Run and Fox Farms, which is a horseback riding place. So I worked at the Pony Ring on the weekend. This is when I was 13. On the weekend, I worked <coughs> at the Pony Ring, and during the week, I would work at the horseback riding place called Run and Fox Farms. And I cleaned stalls, and sweep this huge barn, stack hay, ride with customers, and all that kind of stuff. I loved the job, but it was it was not an easy job. 
But I had to make some money because we weren't having an easy time when I was young. So I brought home some money to help the family eat and stuff like that. And it was always good. So it was hard. But that's what I did. So uh, did all kinds of stuff. We sold seeds when I was young. Uh, collected bottles. They were 10 cents and 5 cents at the time. We'd take the wagon around, collect bottles, and go store them. Uh, babysat. Dog babysat. Um, house watch. There's all kinds of things to make money. There's the sickest things that you Anybody knows what to put on a spider bite that's itching you to death. That sucker is driving me crazy. Ugh. So anyways. I'm going to get off here because I was trying to keep it short. Oh, I'm at 15 minutes already. Wow. God, I thought it was like 6. Alright, well, uh, rambling on. So, I just want to say hey to all my weekend friends. I hope you all have a great weekend this weekend. It's Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. I know you all got to be off. I know Andy's going to be munching on some good fish. That should be good. And we're all doing pretty good, I think, on our, our weight loss, healthy and clap. Oh, I'm going to try to get a scale on Monday because I feel bad not being able to weigh myself to figure out if I'm losing or not. It's kind of hard to tell. I am trying. But when you don't know if you're less or not, it's kind of hard. But anyways, Monday I should be able to afford a scale, I'm hoping. So, I'm going to get a scale Monday. And what else? Kittens are doing good. I think I lost a chicken this week, one of my baby chickens. I let them out and it ran out with the big ones. I went out to try to find it to get it to come back in, and it is just gone. I mean, like vanished into thin air. No feathers, no sign of it, no nothing. One of my black chickens. I kind of feel bad, but I'm hoping, hoping, I'm hoping, and thinking positive that you know it'll come back. So, anyways, please be kind. Please try to be understanding with people who are uh, not having the easiest time either. Sometimes, and we have to try to think about that. Try to. Uh, pay it forward when you can because that, that brings a lot of happiness to people. Um, and peace, love, and hugs to y'all and I hope y'all having a great weekend. Again, have a good one.